shift A and add a cylinder with a low vertices count like 12. Tab into edit mode, control R, add in five loop cuts. Hit A to select everything. F3 and search for unsubdivide. Iterations should be set to one. Go to your front view. Turn on x-ray mode. Select the top vertices and the bottom vertices. S shift Z to, to scale them in. This will stop them from scaling along the Z axis. Turn off x-ray mode. Hit 3, go into face select. Select the top face. Delete it. Go back into, into a vertex select. Alt click the top ring. Hit E to extrude. And hit Z to, to lock on the Z axis. S to scale it upwards. Right click, subdivide it. And then shift click the vertices on the on the angles there to deselect them. With the vertices selected, that's G to grab them, and it's C to grab along to uh, grab along the Z axis. S to scale them in a little bit, and, that, and that's the pineapple modeling done. Now to give it a material, go to your shading tab. Give it one one main material. Give that a yellow color, and then we'll we'll give it a second material. And the way I'm going to get this one. Is I want to select O3 into face select mode. Select the top ones here, and then assign the material there, and we'll give that a green color. So that's the materials done. And if you kept your camera, you should be able to render it right there. And there's your pineapple. And just a tip before I end the video to, to make it easier to see where your materials are applied while in your viewport. Let's go to your viewport display. We'll first grab the color that you used. Control C to copy it. Go down to your viewport display and paste that color back in into to the color port. Do the same thing with the other material. Copy copy the color value and then drop it in here. Let me know if you found this video useful. Um, if you did, leave a like. If not, comment on how things could have been done better. Hope you found it useful and I'll see you next one.